Welcome back to another GCN training session. Or if this is your first one, welcome. Great session to start with. This one is a nice, short, not easy, 15 minute session. Now this session was wrote, uh, written by Hank and it's called Let's Go Strength Workout. So take what you want from that, but it's a good session. It's got a mix of everything. We're gonna start off with a nice, easy warm up. Jump on the bikes. Get your legs turning, make sure you've got water and a towel, because it might get a little bit sweaty. Um, so this session is all done on perceived exertion from one to 10. So one being really nice and easy, like a walk in the park, and 10 on the other hand, being the complete opposite, as hard as you can go. And we are, we're not gonna reach quite 10 today, but we are gonna get into the eights and the nines, so pretty hard. Um, we're also gonna have our RPM on the screen, so revolutions per minute so how fast your legs turn so if you've got a device that gives you that information then great if not don't worry you'll just follow along follow the rhythm of my legs or just count in your head but we've got another 50 seconds left of this nice easy warm-up and then we're going to get a little bit harder we're then going to jump up to six so spinning the legs nice and easy be looking at around 90 rpm in this warm-up and then we're going to jump into our next one and we're going to go down to 70 rpm so quite a bit slower on the legs you're going to be using all the muscles engaging them all we've got another 20 seconds left now and then we're going to jump all the way up to an eight out of ten it's going to get spicy so in 10 seconds now so you get your gears ready in five four, three, two, and one. So eight out of 10 for one minute now. And when we're working at 70 RPM, it's quite a low leg speed. So use this first 20 seconds to find your rhythm. You're working quite hard. Eight out of 10. You feel your heart rate come up. Your legs might start to burn a little bit, but that's just waking them up. Good work. So this session today is kind of like a build up, a gradual build up into some harder efforts. So after this one minute, we're then gonna drop it back down to a six out of 10. So that's still working quite hard. 15 seconds left now. Good work. 10 seconds, keep pushing. And in five. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna drop it back to six out of 10, but we're gonna lift that leg speed. So that leg speed now is gonna be at 90 RPM. So quick on the legs. Might be quite hard to catch your breath because this, this bit now isn't easy. It's still working quite hard, a six out of 10. So if you're suffering a little bit, that's fine. Good work. So our next effort in 30 seconds-ish is gonna be 30 second effort at eight out of 10. Keep that leg speed high, working around 90. So in 15 seconds, we're gonna jump back up to an eight out of 10. 30 seconds and then back down to six to 30 seconds. It's a bit of a trend going on there. So in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Back onto an eight, we're gonna bring our leg speed down. 70 RPM, 30 seconds now. Good work. Find your right cadence and then sit there. Good work. Nice, 10 more seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Now we're back up to 90 RPM, bringing that effort level down to a six. Get that leg speed up. It's really hard on the body, this, because you're going hard with low RPM, and then you're kind of flipping it around, and you're trying to get your leg speed up, and that's working your body as well. So, in eight seconds, we're gonna have a nice little break. We're gonna have one minute at two out of 10. In two, 
one and easy so drop it down to nice easy gear so around walking pace again like we did in the warm-up just spin those legs at a comfortable pace and keep your rpm quite high no resistance on the pedals just spinning those legs right we're well well into this session now so grab a drink good opportunity to stay hydrated so in around 25 seconds we're going to do another minute at 8 out of 10 so we're going to basically repeat that same block that we've just in so one minute one minute and then two 30 seconds and then back to an easy so in five four three two one find your gear and let's go so back up to that eight and that low leg speed so engage in all your muscles so this when you do low leg speed work on the bike it's kind of like a strength session so engaging all the muscles your glutes your quads your calves and really getting the most out of every pedal rev with that low leg speed work good work so another 30 seconds to go and then we'll go back to the high rpm so using all that power through the legs engage the core keep the upper body nice and still slight bend in the elbows remember to look up as well don't be staring down at your bike computer too much so five seconds to go and we'll level it down a little bit in two one back to a six up the leg speed nice so we're gonna sit around 90 rpm now good work one minute of this intensity after this one minute we're going into the two 30 seconds 30 seconds at eight and another 30 seconds at six and high and low leg speed good work everyone minutes is all it takes to get a good solid workout in we've all got 15 minutes to spare whether that's getting up early and getting it done or in the evening or in your lunch break even we've all got time for this or if you use this as a warm-up for another session that is great so 10 seconds now and into 30 seconds in three two one into the 30 seconds good Nice low leg speed work now. Engaging all those muscles. 30 seconds. Good work. Halfway through this 30 seconds. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Then back to the quick leg speed. Uh, six out of 10. 30 seconds now, sit around 90 RPM. That's gonna feel pretty quick after we've been sitting at 70 RPM. Still working quite hard. Again, keep that body nice and still. All the power through the legs. Indoor training is a great place to work on these skills like your positioning on the bike to make the most out of it. And now we're gonna go back to our nice and easy. Good work, so that's two sets down, one to go. So now we'll have one minute nice and easy pedaling. Keep that cadence quite high. Hardly any resistance on the pedals. Good work. Whew. Hard work this session. So again, take this opportunity to get some fluids on boards. You might want to have a little shimmy around on the bike. Stretch your back off, rest your bum got 25 seconds then we're straight back into it at 8 out of 10 at that low leg speed right 15 seconds to go this rest just very quickly so we need to be on it so we've got 10 seconds now I want to start thinking about the gear you want to be in so I'm going to get in my big ring oh bit of mechanical there 
Right, into the big ring. And here we go. Just missed a few seconds there. There we go, eight out of 10, 70 RPM. Find your rhythm, and then just hold it. Hold it for that minute. Good work, 20 seconds down. Nice. All the power through the pedals, keep going. Eight out of 10, this is the last push now. And then we finish the session. Good work, everyone. Keep going. Nice. 15 more seconds left. Don't want to bring it down a notch. 10 seconds, keep pushing. Come on, all the way. And in five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, bring it down and up. Bring, bring the intensity down and the leg speed up. Good work. Back to that 90 RPM for one minute, six out of 10. And then we'll go into our 30 seconds and then we're done. Nice and quick on the legs. Ooh. Good work. Halfway through this minute. Let's really make the most out of these two 30 seconds now. If you're feeling good in this next one, why not push it up to a nine out of 10? If you're feeling really good. If you're not, if you're like me, just stick to the eight. That is absolutely fine. 15 seconds to go now. Start thinking about that gear. Going down to the low leg speed again in four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds now. At that 70. Oh, feels like a real grind when you get, get into it after being at 90. Push through. Good work. Halfway. Not long left. We can do it. Keep pushing. Four, three, two, one, and change up. Higher RPM, lower intensity now for this last one. Good work. Twenty seconds to go. Good work. Make sure you're hitting that ninety RPM. Nice and quick. In five, four, three, two, one, and now we're into a nice, easy cool down. So. Two minutes now at a nice low intensity, two out of 10. And I'll let you have whatever RPM you want. So I'm gonna go nice and easy, probably towards the top of the block in my little ring, my granny ring, for two minutes now. So nice deep breaths, let your body cool down because your legs are probably hurting. That lactic acid in the legs are burning. So a nice, easy, just a few minutes on the bike is really gonna help your legs feel just a little bit better tomorrow. But this was one of our shorter sessions that we have on the channel, but we've got plenty of longer sessions. We've got half an hour, 40 minutes, 45, and even hour sessions. So if you fancy doing one of the longer ones, head over and have a look at those videos as well. But I have to warn you, they're pretty savage. So we've got one more minute left of this intensity in our cool down. So indoor training can be quite hard, but I always prefer it. You can just, especially if you've got specific efforts to do, you can just get on the bike. You don't have to worry about cars or lights. And especially if you've got the longer efforts and you get to a set of lights, you have to slow down and stop and your average speed as well, it's gonna slow that down. So when I've got specific efforts, I like to just jump on the indoor training get it done even if I'm short in time if after work I can just jump on smash out a session half an hour 40 minutes done and you feel so much better after getting on and just doing something even if it is 15 minutes so yeah great workout there today thanks Hank for writing that one but let me know down in that comment section below what you thought of that session and what you'd like to see next and I'll see you in the next one